Well, those of you who have been listening to me for some time talk about the weather, I always look at the northern portion of the northern hemisphere and I monitor the wind flow pattern and the temperature structure of the atmosphere up there because when these waves, and there's a whole series of waves, it's a sinusoidal pattern around the northern hemisphere. And the stronger the waves, uh, the more moist or the more uh, cold air they can move south and when these lows come working across whether they're in the northern portion of the lower 48 or in Canada they start moving that cold air south. Cold air is heavy and if you can get it started south it'll sink south by latitude but now as we hit it with warm air we'll modify it some so it doesn't come down as cold but here's what we've got working for us now the cold air coming south. The very leading edge and this may be a little convergence where the winds come together but it has tightened our pressure gradient giving us those gusty winds today move those temperatures up quite a bit but there's a secondary line that works its way in there too and we're going to continue to see this come down now we'll have a few showers but we won't have the moisture structure to get that much so some of us will get a few showers I told Chris he might get a sprinkle and a tinkle but most of it will be in the deeper layer of moisture from northeast to east down to the south of us that should be the best chance for moisture but today it was all heat with that forced flow and tightened pressure grade Gradient. So consequently, we're not looking at very much today. Had a few clouds. The winds picked up from the south, and we're still seeing some 90s and hundreds. And tonight we'll be down in the 70s for the most part, out toward Brownwood and northwest and north, upper 60s. Sustained winds are still brisk from the south. We'll get some occasional gusts. We'll start in the middle 70s tomorrow. That temperature will fluctuate in the morning, 88 to 90s as you go south. But we'll see the wind shift to the north. You'll get that little batch of shadow hours the wind shift and then it's all cool down for us we'll begin warming by the weekend but the weather stays nice for all outdoor activities back after the break <laughs> 